Okay, hello YouTube. Um, as you might be able to guess from this, this video is going to be an iPhone tutorial. Um, what I'm going to show you this time is how to turn your iTunes into ringtones for your um, iPhone. It can be any generation, whatever. Alright, so I'll assume you have iTunes. Here's it. My songs. Um, so what you want to do is pick any song you like. I will I will go somewhere I belong by Lincoln Park. So you find this song, you then right click it and click create AAC version. You let that run. It'll pop up there. You don't need to worry about that for now. It'll just take a second to run through. It isn't very long. I don't know if that's based on the power of your computer but my quad core doesn't take long and there it goes. So you right click on this new version and then you go into show in Windows Explorer. You can see that just there. Okay, so it'll take you to this page right here. Then, if you look, and what you'll need to do is go to your folder options and then view. Make sure you have hide extensions for known file types unche unchecked so it does show the extension. Because then when you see it, it will be an M4A file. That's the extension for an AAC audio. So, if you click that to edit the title, then you edit the A, so it says M4R instead, and then click it. Now, go into your iTunes and try and play it and it will fail. There you go. So, now you can delete that from your iTunes. Go back to the copy you just made and drag that into here. And you'll see it's now in your ringtones folder. And that it's literally as simple as that. Next time you sync your iPhone, as long as it's ticked, it will sync with it. And then all you do is go to your settings. Your sounds. And then change your ringtone. And it will be in there. Easy as that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it to be very helpful. Um, but yeah. That's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed my new very, very high resolution screen as well. So, that's it. Bye-bye.